Hello and welcome back to another day where I show you everything that I eat and everything that I do to stay healthy and active. I'm starting off my morning with a coffee run at my local Starbucks. I'm having a cappuccino with almond milk. For breakfast, I'm having one of my favorites. This is a chia pudding. I'm starting off with a banana and mashing that into a bowl. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of chia seeds and about a half a cup of oat milk. I'm going to add a good generous dash of cinnamon because it is just so good. Mix that all together and then let it soak in the fridge for about mm, 20 minutes or so. Then I'm just adding a little drizzle of peanut butter because it tastes so good and it helps keep me full a little bit longer. For lunch, I have some leftover rice, some leftover roasted sweet potatoes, and I'm going to mix in some of this meatless ground beef. I'm going to put in some frozen vegetables. I love using frozen vegetables for a quick lunch. They're so easy to use. And then I'm going to be putting some cashew cream sauce that I made yesterday. I'm adding my frozen items to a pan that's just heated up with some oil and garlic, put on some seasoning of my choice and a little lemon juice, mix it all together and heat it through. I'm going to add in my rice, then my sweet potatoes, and again, mix it all up until it's nice and warm. I'm going to top it all with a good scoop of my cashew cream sauce. This makes it nice and creamy and so delicious. And this is it. It's so good. After lunch, I did some photo editing and watched some TV. Then for my afternoon snack, I had a LaCroix and some potato chips. I love potato chips. They are just the perfect salty snack. Yum! As always, please remember to take your vitamins. I decided to take another walk early in the evening. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Chicago. They always do such a beautiful job decorating for the holidays, and it's just so nice to walk around. I mean, just look how beautiful that tree is. For dinner, I am making a roasted tomato and red pepper soup. I have seasoned this, put some garlic in it, and it's ready to roast for about 20 minutes. After it's done roasting, I put it in the blender, added a good dollop of hummus, put in a little bit of some vegetable broth, and then I mixed it all together in the blender. This is so good, guys. It pours so nice and easy. It's thick, it's creamy. And at the last minute, I decided to add a little dollop of the cashew cream sauce. Well, that's it for me tonight. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.